Did you put me to bed? Mm hmm. You undressed me? I didn't have much choice. Where did you sleep? It's about that time we spill all the secrets we've got on the latest scoop on Fifty Shades 4 Revenge. So let's dive into it. For those who aren't familiar with the Fifty Shades series, Fifty Shades Freed is the third and final film released in 2018. Directed by James Foley and written by Niall Leonard, it's based on E.L. James' novel of the same name from 2012. The movie, produced by Perfect World Pictures, Michael Beluka Productions, and Trigger Street Productions, and distributed by Universal Pictures, stars Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan as Anastasia Steele and Christian Grey. The story follows their marriage and the challenges they face, particularly dealing with Anna's former boss, Jack Hyde, who starts stalking them. After the success of the first film in 2015, work on the sequels quickly kicked off. Foley and Leonard were brought on to direct and write the sequels, respectively, by November 2015. Both sequels were shot back-to-back -back in 2016, with filming starting in February in Paris and Vancouver and wrapping up in July. Danny Elfman, who composed the scores for the previous films, returned to work on the music for the final installment. Fifty Shades Freed premiered in Paris in February 2018 and was released in the US shortly after. Despite grossing over $370 million worldwide against a $55 million budget, it received negative reviews, much like its predecessors, with criticism mainly directed at its screenplay and acting. In the finale of Fifty Shades Freed, Christian and Anna, now married, have to cut short their honeymoon due to a break-in at Christian's company. Anna's former boss, Jack Hyde, who was sacked for sexual misconduct, stole some computer files. Christian surprises Anna with a new house and hires architect Gia Matteo to renovate it. Anna gets irritated when Gia flirts openly with Christian and warns her to stop or be fired. When Christian is away on a trip, Anna goes out for drinks with her friend Kate, who is dating Christian's brother Elliot. Kate suspects Elliot of having an affair with Gia. Jack Hyde tries to kidnap Anna, but is thwarted by her security team and arrested. Anna and Christian argue about her night out, leading Anna to demand more freedom. Christian surprises her with a trip to Aspen with her friends. Elliot proposes to Kate, with Gia helping him choose the ring. Their sexual experimentation continues until Anna reveals she is pregnant, which upsets Christian as he has different plans. He leaves, meeting his former BDSM dominant, Elena Lincoln, angering Anna. Hyde demands a ransom for Mia, Christian's sister. Anna, instructed not to involve anyone, withdraws the money but tricks Hyde by slipping her phone into the bag. Hyde attacks Anna during the drop-off but she shoots him with a revolver. Christian arrives with the police and Anna wakes up in the hospital days later. Despite anger and anxiety, they reconcile. Christian learns he and Hyde share a foster family, and Hyde envies Christian's adoption into wealth. He also blackmailed Liz into aiding him. Christian and Anna visit his birth mother's grave reflecting on their journey. They return home and in the final scene years later, they're happily raising their son Teddy with another child on the way. With that being said, from the ending of Fifty Shades Freed, we can explore the challenges and joys of Anna and Christian's growing family. As they navigate parenthood with their son Teddy and another child on the way, they encounter new dynamics in their relationship and personal lives. Anna faces the demands of motherhood while also asserting her independence and career aspirations. Christian grapples with balancing his role as father, husband, and CEO, confronting his past traumas and striving to be a better partner to Anna. Meanwhile, unresolved conflicts from their past resurface, testing their bond and forcing them to confront difficult truths. Jack Hyde's vendetta against Christian and Anna may not be over, leading to Hyde intention and danger for their family. Amidst the challenges, Anna and Christian find strength in their love and commitment to each other. They lean on their friends and family for support, forging deeper connections and building a stronger foundation for their future. The story could explore themes of forgiveness, redemption, and the transformative power of love as Anna and Christian navigate the complexities of parenthood and marriage. Ultimately, they emerge stronger than ever, 
ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead as they build a life together filled with passion, trust, and unconditional love. However, when E.L. James exchanged her marriage vows, little did she anticipate that one day, she and her husband, Niall Leonard, would be orchestrating a steamy scene in broad daylight beside a parked Mini Cooper. Yet, that's exactly where life led them. We were fully clothed. I said, alright, I'll sit on your lap. This was on a Saturday afternoon. People were strolling by on their way to the football field at the end of the road. They must have been thinking, what on earth are these two up to? James, whose real name is Erica Mitchell, recounts this to Today.com during a Zoom call. Their unconventional scenario was all about bringing James's iconic Fifty Shades of Grey characters, Christian Grey and Anastasia Steele, to life, albeit in a different setting than the back of an Audi R8. This incident is just one of the many unexpected turns James's life has taken. Most notably, she soared to fame as one of the world's most successful authors in her middle age, thrusting her into the global spotlight, a position she still finds uneasy over a decade later. Reflecting on her wedding, which coincided with being the center of attention, James recalls mixed feelings. While she was happy to tie the knot, the pressure left her bad-tempered. The last thing I said to my dad as we walked down the aisle and what people heard was, Get off my effing dress! She reminisces with a chuckle. As she anticipates the release of her new book, James experiences a similar blend of emotions. I'm terrified and ecstatic and very, very anxious. I don't want to let anyone down. I want to provide people with something to escape to, she confesses. After penning three Fifty Shades of Grey novels and a subsequent trilogy from Christian's perspective, James embarked on a new romance series, beginning with The Mister in 2019. Its sequel, The Missus, hits shelves in June. In this new tale, Maxim Trevelyan inherits his family's earldom unexpectedly after his brother's sudden demise and finds himself drawn to Alessia Damachi, the woman hired to clean his London apartment. While Christian Grey's inner demons drive much of the conflict in Fifty Shades, Alessia and Maxim face external hurdles, including run-ins with the Albanian Mafia. The idea for this series had lingered in James's mind for a long time, sparked by an article she stumbled upon during a flight. She started writing it because she wanted a break from Christian and Anna. This time, the leading man is more prince than beast. James believes the lost but kind-hearted Maxim offers a more appealing romantic prospect than the enigmatic Christian Grey. I would marry Maxim. He's a reasonable human. I think you'd have to have the patience of a saint to marry someone like Christian, she quips. But James is quick to remind readers that her books are about escapism, not instruction manuals for life. It's fantasy, she asserts. What are you saying about the people reading these books? Are you saying women aren't intelligent enough to realize that this is for escape? You're effectively infantilizing women and not letting them have a good time. Feminists have fantasies too. For James, storytelling is about immersing oneself in another world, becoming consumed by its narrative, a sentiment she knows all too well from her own experience as a reader. She experienced a literary awakening reading Stephanie Meyer's Twilight series, which served as the inspiration for Fifty Shades of Grey. The vampire saga reignited her dormant creativity, leading her to embark on a writing journey that ultimately transformed her life. From self-publishing Fifty Shades of Grey to breaking publishing records and selling millions of copies, James's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. Yet despite her success, she remains grounded in her mundane life, primarily focused on her writing. While her husband isn't Christian Grey or Maxim, he plays a vital role in her creative process as her first reader and sounding board. Next on the horizon for James could be adapting the Mr. and the Mrs. for the big screen, despite the challenges she faced during the making of the Fifty Shades movies. But for now, she's content to concentrate on her storytelling, eager to delve into new narratives and captivate her readers with fresh tales of love and intrigue. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.